Once you've got your battery pack out, you'll immediately want to, wearing gloves of course, take one side of these joiners off. Because when this is on, it stacks all the voltages up and it's around 200 volts. Now when you pull the plug, the disconnect plug out of the car, all it does is break it here, but you still have all of these together, which is about 100 volts. So if you happen to touch this loose wire and the terminal, or say between here and here, you will get a shock. I'm just gonna check all of the batteries. It's been sitting here for about a couple of months, so any bad cells should be discharged enough to show themselves. So all the clips were removed on one side, so we'll get an accurate reading. And they should all be around the same, in this case, 7.5 volts. Now I did get up to, let's see, 7 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5
I've got most of the cells hooked up together in 14 volt configuration. Oh, these look dirty, but the other sides are clean. Got my shunt rated for 100 amps and my solar panel, which is set up in the middle of the driveway in everyone's way. And that tells me we're charging at a rate of 52 watts, three amps at 16 volts. Now the battery pack is fully charged at 18 volts. I've got no regulator, but the solar panel puts out about a max of 18 volts, so it should self-regulate, but I've got to look into that. Maybe buy a programmable MPPT charger.